Hi, I'm Mark Roth, and this is Mathematics for Social Justice. Today we'll be looking at a lesson where we um, use a square and a rectangle of the same perimeter to solve pre-algebra and finally an algebra problem. We have a 5x5 five five square which has area 25 square units. Now suppose I were to remove four squares in the top left hand corner. Um, and these, these squares to the right, I'm going to move. And I suppose I move them over here. So I have a before and after situation. I start with a square and I finish with a rectangle. Now in the process, I lose four units of area, but I don't change any perimeter. My perimeter is seven plus three, seven plus three. So my perimeter of my rectangle is 20. And the original square was four times five. It was also 20. Now I can label the bottom here, five plus two and the side here, five minus two. And here I can say it's five by five. So I'm changing a five by five square to a seven by three rectangle. And in the process, I lose four units of area, but I don't lose any perimeter. We're gonna do a problem which is a precursor to solving quadratic equations, but which gives the student a chance to practice their whole number skills. So we're looking for two numbers and Turns out their sum is 40 and the product is 364. And to find the two numbers, we're going to use visual aids. So we'll have a square and we'll have a rectangle of the same perimeter. And we'll have a piece of the number line. So the square will be m by m. Its area is m squared. The rectangle will be m minus d times m plus d, and the area will be m squared minus d squared. So this will, this will be a, and this side will be b, which will also be 40 minus a. Because when we add a to b, um, we're going to get 40. So the area goes inside. And now we know this, we know the square and the rectangle have the same perimeter. So they also have the same semi-perimeter. So halfway around the rectangle is equal to halfway around the square. So if these two sides add to 40, these two sides do also. So each side is 20, which makes the area 400. And we can label the number line M in the middle, which is 20. And our unknown b is going to be over here. And b is also m plus d. And a will be here, which is also m minus d, which makes this distance d on both sides. So we already know the number in the middle. We need to find this end and this end. These will be our two unknowns. And to find our two unknowns, we need to find D. So we can think of D as the side of a little square where each side is D and the area is D squared. D squared is the extra area that's in the square, which is not in the rectangle. So therefore to calculate D, we need to find the square root of what's in the square minus what's in the rectangle, which is the square root of 36, which is six. So D is six. And we finished the problem. Okay, so A, A is 14. B is 26, their sum is 40 and the product is 364. So for our next example, we're gonna make use of a trick. If you're gonna multiply two numbers, 
For example, suppose you're going to multiply 3.7 times 3.3. Notice that these two numbers are the same and these two numbers add the 10. In that case, you can cross this one out and make it one more. And then you would go 3 times 4 is 12, and 7 times 3 is 21, and the dust point would go there. So we'll be using that trick um, in the next example. Okay, we're going to do a second problem, and the second problem is similar to the first. The only difference is our sum is odd and our product is even, and when the parity is not the same, it makes it slightly harder. But we can deal with that. So our product is going to be 408, and our sum is 41. So this is going to be A, and this will be 41 minus A, which is also B. And again, so the perimeter is the same, so the semi-perimeter is the same in both cases. So if these two sides add to 41, these two sides also add to 41, which makes this 20.5 and 20.5. So to get the area, we're going to use the trick 20.5 times 20.5. You cross this out and make it one more. So then 20 times 21 is 20 more than 400, which is 420. And 5 times 5 is 25. So that gives us the area of the square. And M is 20.5. So once again, we're going to assume that the extra area is in the top left corner, which is D by D. And so the area is D squared. And D squared will be this difference. So D D will be the square root of the difference, which is 420.25 minus 408, which is 12.25. So we, we're going to use the trick to find 12 point, the square root of 12.25. So I can see Already it's going to be 3.5. I cross this out and make it one more. 3 times 4 is 12, and 5 times 5 is 25. So this square root is 3.5. So I'm going to put that here and here. Now when I add, I'm going to get 24. And when I subtract, I'm going to get 17. And so we found A and B. Okay, so we found the two numbers whose sum is 41 and whose product is 408. Okay, so now we're going to uh, do a similar problem with fractions. So we're trying to help the student learn pre-algebra um, before we get into algebra. So we'll, we'll, this way we'll be able to review fractions. So we're trying to find two numbers A and B. Their sum is 4 and 1 6, and their product is 4 and 1 6 also. And we're going to use the same technique to find A and B. So we start with a square, a rectangle of the same perimeter, and um, labeled as M, M, M squared, M minus D, M plus D m squared minus d squared, and the product is 4 and 1 6, and the sum is also 4 and 1 6. Okay, so when you add this side to this side, a and negative a cancel, and you, you get the sum of 4 and 1 6. So these two sides also add up to 4 and 1 6, and so this side is half of 4 and 1 6. And 4 and 1 6 is equal to 25 6. And half of 25 6 is 25 12. Okay, so that makes um, this equal to 625 over 144.
and m is equal to 25 twelfths. And d is going to be the square root of what's in here minus what's in here. So d will be 625 over 144 minus 25, 6. And if we raise both of these to 140, uh, raise the times by 24 and 24, we're going to get 625 over 144 minus 600 over 144. So d will be the square root of 25 over the square root of 144, which is 5 twelfths. So we'll be subtracting 5 twelfths, adding 5 twelfths, and we get 30 twelfths, and we get 20 twelfths. This will simplify to 1 and 2 thirds. And this will simplify to two and one half. So we found A and B. A is one and two thirds, B is two and one half. And their sum and their product is four and one sixth. Okay, so next we're going to do an algebra problem using the same visual aids. Um, we won't show this to the student right after we showed the other two examples, but a little later in the year, uh, we can show them how to do this um, using the same visual aids. So, first we're going to factor out an x. And now we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Now, we have to choose. Do we times the first term or the second term by negative 1? And we'll choose the second term. And, of course, we're timesing both sides by negative 1, so negative 3 becomes 3. Now, we're going to solve this with visual aids, but to save time for the student, um, we don't want the student to have to do a series of problems where they're labeling every square and rectangle. We're going to draw the same rectangle and square without labels. But again, the square and the rectangle have the same perimeter. So we're going to label this x and negative x minus 4. And the area is going to be 3. So if we add these two sides, the x and negative x cancel, which makes these two sides add to negative 4, so these two sides also add to negative 4, which makes this negative 2 and negative 2, um, which makes this area 4. So negative 2 goes here, and to find this distance, we find the square root of what's in here minus what's in here which equals the square root of 1, which equals 1. So if we add 1 we, here, we get negative 1. And if we uh, subtract 1 here, we get negative 3. So we finish the problem. And x equals negative 3 or negative 1.